All right, everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to be looking at the best of Gridiron Australia. This is the Australian governing body of American football. Unfortunately, as far as I'm aware, uh, Northern Territory, the state that I live in, is the only state of all eight that doesn't have a Gridiron Australia uh, team or competition or anything. There's nothing here in the Northern Territory. My best shot of playing American football in Australia, which is probably what I will do, um, is to move somewhere or possibly, you know, be a walk-on for maybe two or three weeks. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of, you know, hopefully, if I watch, if I watch this, I've never seen this before, right? If I watch this and I can see myself playing and being successful at the, at the highest level in Australia, I will take a month off work, travel to a place where I can, I can go down to training, I can have a run, see how I go. Hopefully it'll be uh, recorded so I can put the footage on my channel and show you guys. That's what I'm imagining, all right? I'm imagining getting in contact with a coach in Australia who wants to have me, not stay with them, I can stay at my own hotel, but have me down at training for a couple of weeks, possibly give me a game or opportunity to play in a game, get it, get it filmed so I can put it on my channel and, um, and see what happens. I mean, that, that really fucking excites me, man. I, I just, I cannot wait to do that. So I've just got to basically choose a state. But first of all, I'm going to have to watch this because I've never played, guys. I've never even run around with a fucking helmet on. So for me to say that, that kind of thing, is kind of, it's naive, all right? Because I don't really know what it's like. It's probably going to be a whole lot harder than what I think. So, bef so with all that being said, you know, let's watch the best players in Australia. This is going to be real interesting. The ones that haven't gone to college, the ones that play in Australia, I don't know what the average age is, probably a lot, a lot younger than me, um, but it's going to be really interesting. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, now, I must say, I've watched one video. Oh, so, oh, sorry. I've watched, like, a couple of minutes of the... Effectively, it's the state of origin of um, Gridiron in Australia, which, state of origin is a... Is a it's a three-game series that's played between New South Wales and Queensland in rugby league in Australia. It's huge. Up until about five years ago, anything was allowed in the game, in, like big hits, you know, punches, anything. You know, if, if two people got in a, a confrontation, the ref would literally stand back and just let them go for it because that was state of origin. That's what it was about. But now it's, you know, it's, it's got a little bit uh, more tame, and I don't blame it because no one can go around fucking punching people right in the head. Um, without being, you know, charged for that shit. That's bullshit. No one should have to deal with that. Unless the two players want to do it. In which case, it's fine. So, anyways. Australian Gridiron. So it should come up. There we go. South Australia versus New South Wales is what I watched. So we're going to try and find Australia versus South Korea. <laughs> 15 minutes long. USA versus Japan, Queensland versus New South Wales, Australia versus Brazil. Oh my God, this is gonna be great! All right, Australia versus South Korea, game one. Fuck, let's watch this, man. I cannot wait to fucking watch this. Why is there a, why is there a song? Why have you got a stupid song in the background? Seriously, who's that? Aussie Gridiron star set for NFL Draft. Welcome back. Well, as many of you know, football is a big part of Australian life. I should, I should know that. Mm. AFL, league, union, soccer, dominating... All codes of football. <laughs> I can name them all. Mm. Dominating sporting fields across the country. American football rarely gets a look in, much like hurling. But if one young Australian man gets his way, that could all change. Due to some violent contact, parental discretion is advised. Jesse Williams, the young man from Australia. Jesse Williams is kicking goals. Well, try to stop them in his case. At the age of just 22, he's the first Indigenous Australian to make waves in the States playing gridiron. A hmm. Brisbane boy, Williams was discovered by a college scout visiting from Arizona. Fucking hell. That Williams... That's about a 500-pound bench press. Um... What's his name? Jesse Williams. Sorry guys, I'm just I'm going off a little bit off track here, but I want to see if this guy made it. Um, 
NFL. There he is. Did he play? Is he playing right now? Oh, he fucking won a Super Bowl. You're kidding me. <laughs> Played for the Seahawks for three years. Six foot four, 150 kilos, 334 pounds. That's fucking ridiculous. Oh my God. So he's an Australian former American football defensive tackle. Played college football for Alabama, where he's a starter on the defensive line for the 2011 and 2012 national championship teams. So that's why he was chosen. He was chosen in the fifth round of the 2013 draft. Although he has spent the majority of his team on the injured reserve list, he became the first Australian to win a Super Bowl ring as a member of Seattle's 2013 team. No way. Williams was originally recruited by University of Hawaii coaches and offered a scholarship to play for the Hawaii Warriors football team after a Warriors scout saw him play during the Australian National Championships. There you go. So I could possibly, you know, play well for a, a state team in Australia, get noticed, and then get an opportunity to play for, for a college, effectively. But I'm 27. However, oh sorry, however the NCAA clearinghouse said he was, miss, said he was missing a maths and English class and would not be able to enrol for the 2009 season. He later chose to enrol at Arizona Western College after co coaches saw him play an exhibition against New Zealand while they were teaching at a football clinic. He started all 13 games of the 2011 season, 24 tackles, and half of a quarterback sack. He made the AP All-SEC second team. Wow. Fucking hell, this guy, eh? Was working for a Won a Super Bowl. Nicknamed the Monster, Jesse stands nearly two metres tall and weighs... Oh! That quarterback got smashed! His strength is undeniable. He can easily bench press 270 kilos. And he's quick, very quick. This coming Thursday, it will be those attributes that will see Jesse drafted into the NFL, joining the big league on Big Buck. Friday night, we'll have the second and third rounds, another five, six hours. And on Saturday, we'll finish it off with rounds four through seven. Terrific. And what do you expect that the uh, outcome for Jesse will be? Who's he going to end up with? Um, I have no idea. It... it you know, you, you do, you put all the work in, you do all the testing, the interviews, the medicals like Jesse has done, and mm -hmm. you hope for the best. You know, I, I'm looking for, for a good draft for Jesse. He brings a lot to the table, that American... Is this guy an team. agent? So they're all the teams are, are very much... The NFL is, is a very, very sophisticated, very multi-billion dollar business. Scouts have been looking at Jesse literally since he's come off the plane at 18 years old from Australia. They've watched him grow up from junior college in Arizona to the, you know, the preeminent university school in, in our country for football, University of Alabama. Mm. They watched him win the national championship. I mean, they've watched him closely, and they know everything there is to know about him. Yeah, terrific. Now, Paul, you coached Jesse for a very long time. Um, you know, what, what did you see in him uh, from a young age that made you think, well, maybe uh, a lot of fun? Uh, look, it's, it's going to open the, the doors, uh, you know, to a lot more uh, athletes being able to go over. Um, yeah. um, you know, he's, he's nice to block. Pave the way. You, know, you can get that out to be able to. Yeah, he. That's his kind of trademark. That no one's stopping that guy. Out. Fucking hell, he's huge. All right, guys. I'm sorry, I just had to watch that. So let's look at, um, oh jeez. Okay, let's watch this. Meet the players on Australia's growing gridiron scene. We're going to stop it after this one, and then the next video I'm going to look at some highlights of the, of the Australian team playing, or possibly a state, a state game, alright? This game, well this, this video is going to be about that guy Jesse Williams, and it's going to be about Australia's growing gridiron scene. Because I'm very, very interested. Very interested. Guys that think girls can't play football, come down and catch some footballs and we'll see if we Girls team! The main reason I play good on is I love people. Woo! It's a men's sport. Unless you laugh in their face, I'm like, come watch me play. Seriously. Jared Hainer has brought the sport to the forefront of the, the general public. It's what I think is the uh, ultimate team sport. Love the contact, love the fast pace, strategy. It's just fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. 
I came to one training session and it was just instant fell in love with the sport. I'm Ethan Herridge, I live in uh, Toowoomba, Queensland. I play gridiron for the Toowoomba Valley Vultures and I'm 18 years old. 18? Self-confidence was definitely a massive thing that I lacked when I was younger. I just didn't it's really huge. Uh, believe in myself. I was large to say the least. Didn't really talk to anyone. I wouldn't lash out in public, I'd lash out at home. Comparatively, in a like, dark place, I started playing gridiron. I got an armour and I, I don't know what it was, I just felt invincible, like I could do anything. Uh, one session I was loving it. When I saw him, oh, he that's really cool. was one play, he was doing the hit, 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 and then they go to collide and he just pushed these two mm. guys backwards and I just said to David, people might be alright at this game. <laughs> So yeah, it was very exciting. <laughs> and I woke up in the morning and think, you know what? I may not be that skinny guy, that you know, that super fit guy, that buff guy, but I can do my job better than anyone else on my team can. So my job is to make sure that no one gets past my position. Because if he did, he'll get straight to the quarterback before he threw the ball and blow up the entire play. Go running, running back. back. You've got an offense and defense. Offense, the aim is to score a touchdown, which is six points. Um, to get to the other end of the field, you have ten yards. You get four plays per ten yards. If you don't make the ten yards, then it's a turnover. It's a bit scary to see them play. The noises from the field and the, the padding colliding, it's a little bit scary. Look, the technology of the helmets have come a long way. Uh, we're adopting some of the principles that rugby union players use to keep the head out of the tackle, uh, and it's going really well. Culture's different from rugby. I've played rugby all my life as well, but uh, yeah, it's about, uh, it's about working together as one team. Guys, I'm, I'm not going to be given any reaction to this video. I'm, I'm, I'm literally, I'm glued to this stuff right now. This is where I want to be. I want to be at the top of the Australian gridiron scene. Shit, man. Other sports, rugby union, rugby league, soccer, that's when I was younger. The gridiron takes all sizes and shapes. They're playing on a rugby field. <laughs> Who's this? I don't mind smashing girls on the field. <laughs> I'm Samantha Harris and I'm playing in the first ever women's Outback national team for Australia. I've been playing gridiron for about three years now. When I'm on the field, I just turn into a really fiery person. I just like the challenge of being able to challenge other girls and try and knock them and hit them. <laughs> I got a lot of funny reactions from family and friends. They'd second guess me playing football. Um, you know, their, their reaction is like, oh, hang on, you know, you're a woman playing football. We've only played girl in, in Australia for like uh, five years. And it first started off with only three teams in Queensland. What's the female football scene like in America? Let me know, guys. When I first found out, I was like, oh, didn't know what to expect. You know, um, been obviously a tough sport in the men's sport. But yeah, off the field, Sam's totally different to what she is on the field. Um, you know, I've, I've obviously seen games and she's very fiery. Um, you know, at home. Who is that? You know, the boyfriend. When I was been obviously a tough sport. First found out, I was like, oh, didn't know what to expect. You know, oh, yeah. uh, feel Sam's totally different to what she is on the field. Um, you know, I've, I've obviously seen games and she's very fiery. Um, you know, at home, and she's you know the most, uh, I suppose, you know, gentle and a harmless uh, person. So you know, it's totally opposite, actually. My first ever experience, I play for uh, LFL, which is a group of ladies who play football in uh, their laundry. What? Oh my god! League, I felt very empowered as a woman, just to basically prove to people that women can play football. Wouldn't that hurt? They're just to, you know, just show off their bodies, or they're there to show off their skills and that they actually can hit and then they can play football. When I got the email that I made the Australian team, I was so honoured. I look at it as an opportunity in a lifetime. 
one of my biggest dreams to reach would be able to go up to a college in America and play in a Duke Early. would give the world just to be part of that. He's done so well. I think it's the first rookie ever to get on the state side. Being able to play at a state level, I thought I'm going to have to make it, you'll just be another bloke, but being able to actually, you know, say hey, when I'm older, you know, oh yeah, I made the state team back in the day. It was just one of the greatest feelings in the world. I would have, uh, I'll never forget that feeling to the day I die. Yeah, it's totally oh, great. Probably all the time, every day. Yeah, not just because he did this. Yeah, yeah, he's he's turned out all right. He's turned out all right. Yes, he has. All right, guys. That was cool. I don't know what I'm going to call this video once again, but I've had some fun. If you have liked it, please press like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys back here very shortly to see my first ever look at the Australian Gridiron team. It's taken a while for me to get here, guys. But this is what I want to achieve. I want to get in the Australian team. So let's see what they're about. <laughs> I can't wait. Let's go.